Hello, everybody. Um, this is a weird video because I feel like I'm gonna get hated on for it. But let me just say, let me just say, while fixing the camera, let me just say this. If you like BTS's new song, Idol, it's fine. I don't mind if people like it. Um, I can understand why people like it. And at first I liked it too. But I'm going to give my honest review on the song. And as an ARMY, okay, I, I have loved a lot of BTS's songs. But I can admit when I don't like a song. Or when I think a song is annoying. That's me with every group. If I think a song is annoying, bitch, I'll tell you. Even if it's my ulti group. Like, if it was Luna. Um, which they haven't made a bad song to me yet. But I feel like since they're so versatile, there might come a day where they might make a bad song. As in, to me. Music is subjective. Okay? We don't all like the same songs. We're all different human beings. We all have different tastes and different things. Now... I know that the song has um, a lot of traditional and southern African vibes in the song, I believe. Um, at least that's the vibes that I got from it. I don't know exactly what the music genre is called, I will admit that. But a lot of people are probably going to go like, oh, it's because it was... No, 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 no. I like songs that have those vibes in it. Just this song is not it, okay? First of all, let me just talk about the music video real quick. Even when I watched this video and I liked the song, the music video was a mess. Because most of the time, BTS has this these really high quality production. And they did here too. But high quality production doesn't make it not a mess. I know it was supposed to be symbolism in some parts. But there's too much going on to me. As in, the music video, the boys looked great. I think the boys looked great. And in the music video, there were a couple of scenes that I liked. For example, when they were dancing in that um, temple-looking place. Um, it was very simple. The colors were nice. And the way that they dressed the boys were nice, too. And there was a sense of, you know, even color theory, which if you don't know what color theory is, I don't blame you. I am an artist, which means that I draw a lot, and color theory is very important. It helps you decide what colors go together and what colors don't. BTS's new idol music video reminded me <laughs> of when you're a kid, right? And like, if you've ever been in any nerd fandom, you know what I'm talking about. When you draw really bad OCs, <laughs> And they're colorful and they're bright and like they have no flaws and stuff. But really, the colors clash and the design is way too much. Like, they'll have rainbow hair, but like the rainbow hair doesn't look that good. Because you can do rainbow hair on characters, but you gotta do it in a way where it's not super bright and clashing. Like, the colors aren't neon and they're clashing against each other. Like, you know, there's just certain things with color that can make or break a character, right? It's like BTS saw this OC stuff, right? And they were like, okay, let's do that terrible OC stuff, but let's do it ten times worse, vomit it back up, and spit it at our viewers. Like, I don't mean to be rude, but whatever symbolism was in there, it didn't matter to me. My eyes were hurting. I was like, the fuck is happening? And, like, the thing is, is that I would have been, like, not as disappointed in the music video if the teasers weren't so good. The teasers are the complete opposite of the music video. They have way better, like, use of color, you know, props. They don't have clashing colors against each other. Even the bright teasers where they were on that jungle gym, they didn't have that at all. And... Uh, seeing the music video, I was like, where the fuck did this come from? Why did Joe vomit a rainbow? I don't understand. It looks so awful, especially if you look at DNA. Let's look at DNA. And I don't normally compare songs, but if the music video is better, I will compare music videos. DNA's music video is ten times better than this one, because it utilized bright colors, right? But they did a really nice contrast in the video. For example, 
That one part where Jen had all those colors explode around him, first of all, the colors were placed in a way where it didn't clash. And second of all, it had that white, vibrant room with, like, a black background. And that's what makes it look so cool, is because they got these neutral colors to balance it out. And uh, the bright colors, even when you're out of there, there's some contrasting to it that makes, like, there's color theories, like there's the orange and the yellow against the blue sky, and there's, um, the boys' clothes aren't super clashy. They have their hair colors to kind of differ from the outfits and stuff. It's just very aesthetic. When you look at the idol music video for me, it's just a mess. Like, the colors are awful together. It's like they didn't even try to me. It's like they just took something so, like, basically known throughout their music videos. Like, most of their music videos have aesthetic and great color theory. But in this one, their color theory just got thrown out the window and they were like, Bitch, we're just gonna give you an acid trip, but not a good one. It's one that will never, ever, ever make you want to take acid again. Like, what the hell? I don't understand it that much. And the boys, once again, they looked great, but the colors just clashed way too much. The only other scene that I liked other than that one temp th that one thing was the temple, but even they messed that up with these annoying colors, and I know the static is supposed to be, like, symbolism, but it was so annoying how often they were doing it and making it look weird. It just didn't go well with me. And they even ruined the temple scene because they had these colors, yes, and the colors in the outfits would have been fine, but then they had those really annoying, weird Things that look like the monsters from Don't Hug Me, I'm Scared. And honestly, I hated it. I was like, why the fuck did you ruin this? This was the best part of the music video. How did you ruin that? Um, I like the opening scene with the sunset, but then they ruined the sunset too. So we, we can't have nice things in this household, I guess. And it's not me being mad at BTS necessarily for that, because that's the director is fault. Like, whoever hired that director, please fire him next time. I don't ever want to see that thing again but I will comment about the idol song because while I love my boys I just didn't like the song I understand the vibes that they were going for and I understand they weren't trying to be western but trying not to be western like trying too hard is sometimes not the best thing to do I felt like they were trying too hard with this song I feel like they were trying to make it as in your face as possible and when you first hear it you're like oh hype but the more that I listened to it, the more annoying it fucking got. It got so annoying to the point where I don't even, I don't even stream it. I mean, you can get mad at me or whatever. But like usually with all of BTS's title tracks, even if like it wasn't the best to me, I'd still stream it because I usually like their title tracks. But this one was just, no, no. And like before you criticize me and go like, why are you not streaming? You don't need to stream to be an army, okay? I like their music. But if I don't like a song, guess what? I'm not going to stream it. I'm not going to put the effort into streaming a song that I don't like when I could stream a song that I do like, okay? And I listened to some of the other songs on the album. Some were good. Some were not that great. I might talk about that in another video. But all of them were better than that song. <laughs> I know that there's an important message there, but once again, if I don't like the tone of a song, I'm not going to listen to it. That's just facts. I felt like there was too much of that whistle thing going on. What the fuck was that whistle thing? It's so annoying in my ears. It's like, or whatever. Like, I hated it. I hated it. It's so ear piercing. And they put it in parts of the song that don't need the whistle. Like the bridge. Why'd you put it in the bridge? I don't understand. And the auto-tune, uh-uh, no. I don't know why they did that to Jungkook's voice, but it ticked me off. And there's a way to use auto-tune in a way where it's more stylistic. But I just felt like Jungkook, A, sounded like he had a fucking cold. And B, Young, don't yell at me. <laughs> I'm watching your MV. Don't yell at me, okay? I don't need you to yell at me like that. Like... It, their voices didn't even sound like their voices. Now, an example of good auto-tune in the song would be during Jimin's high note, because he sings like that, yes, but the auto-tune was used to enhance his voice and make it stand out. It wasn't used to scramble up their voices in a blender and just throw it into a song. 
like Jungkook and um, Taehyung's autotune was. It was supposed to be stylistic. It actually had a purpose. It was enhancing his voice, but it wasn't too much. Jungkook and Taehyung's autotune sounded like that terrible autotune that people hated back in like the early 2000s that was starting to happen. And that people hate now. So I don't understand why people like it in this song. Because I like Jungkook and Taehyung's normal voices. I don't need a shit ton of auto-tune over it, scrambling it up like eggs. Like, I don't need that. Um, felt like the song was very basic. Um, there are switch-ups in the song, but they stay... To me, I think they stay on the same chord. And just add a couple of bass synths here and there. And then maybe that, like, horn. I like the horn a bit, but then the horn becomes too annoying. Because the whistles are over it, and it's like... Mm, mm, mm. And then it's like, woo! With the whistle. I don't know how to do that whistle. It's like a soccer whistle. So I can't show you an example of it whistle wise because A, I can't whistle anyways, but B, I, it's a soccer whistle. It's annoying. Um, I'm not saying that so but to me, soccer whistles were always my least favorite part of soccer because I did play soccer and I hated those whistles. I understand why they had them, but I don't understand why we had them in this song. I feel like it would have been a lot better if they did something that wasn't as annoying. The chorus is fine, but once again, I think they used some terrible auto-tune effects in there. No offense. And, yeah, I don't know. I've seen people get attacked for sharing their opinions online. Guys, not everybody is going to like every single song BTS produces. I don't care if they're even an ARMY or not. You know, there are so many people who, you know, don't like certain songs by BTS and they can admit that they don't. And y'all need to understand that not everybody's going to like this song. This song is not a style of music that everybody listens to. Not everybody came to BTS for this song. I'm just going to put it out there. I sure as hell didn't. Because I feel like they could have done it right. But who, like, they just made it a mess to me. And I feel like the music video could have been way better, but it also wasn't. There, you just, I know that people are getting attacked for it too. Like, K-Junkies, if you're somehow watching this, which I doubt you will, because I don't think anybody's going to like this and share it. Um, if you're watching this, I saw how they reacted to it. I saw how they didn't like it, and they didn't like the music video. And people were attacking the shit out of them, going like, they're trying something new. Yes, they're trying something new. And I understand that, and it's fine to try new things. But not everybody is going to like it. And you shouldn't expect people, even if they're armies, to like everything that BTS puts out. That's, that's the tea. That's just the, that's the truth. There are plenty of artists that I stand that I don't like the songs of. Um, uh, I'm thinking of artists that I, Mama Moo, uh, you don't have to like Mama Moo, and that's fine, but they're just one of the artists that I stand. They have this song called Dab Dab, and I hate the shit out of it, like, I hate it so goddamn much. I hate that song, but I love Mama Moo, okay? But just because I hate Dab Dab, it doesn't mean I'm not a fan. It just means I'm not going to listen to that song. I'm not going to play it. I'm not going to stream it. I'm not going to give it the time of day. Um, you know, I didn't like Seventeen's Oh My. I thought that it was boring. I thought that it was so underwhelming. I know a lot of people did. But the more that I listen to it, the more bored that I get. So I just don't. Um, uh... Um, I'm trying to think of a song that I don't like by an artist. Um, here we go. Idols Love Maze. There's so many people that love Idols Love Maze, which if you don't know who Idol is, it's like the G Idol, like with the parentheses and the dash. But I, there, the way you pronounce it is Idol, so if that helps you, yeah. Um... Idol's song, um, Love Maze, not Love Maze, Maze, it's just Maze, I'm sorry, I was thinking of BTS's Love Maze, which I actually like, I actually like Love Maze by BTS, um, 
Idol's Maze, I don't like that song either. I know a lot of people do, but it's just not my thing. It's not my cup of tea. And I can admit when I don't like a song by an artist. So I feel like there's a lot of people that do like the song, right? But I've seen a lot of people just freak out over the music video and the dudes and not really talk about the song and just go like, wow, that was rude. Oh, the song, like, the song was so good, even though they were screaming over it the whole time. And we're not really listening to it. The people who actually listen to in the reactions, I believe. But, I don't know. I feel like there are people out there that aren't being as honest. Let me just say that. Um, not being shady, but just, I can kind of tell, body language-wise, when a person likes a song and when they don't. And there is a lot of people... Not really bigger ones, but smaller ones that didn't like it. And it was obvious, but they kind of just screamed and was like, BTS! Like, I'm just going to be honest with you guys. I don't like it. And that's why I didn't do a reaction to it. Because I would have commented so much on the music video and how I hated this part of it. And I hated this part of it. Because the music video to me is just awful. Like, I know it's supposed to be quirky. But there's better ways to do that and make it cool and have weird special effects than to make it a color, like a like a rainbow vomited on me and took acid. I don't need that. <laughs> I don't like that. It's not pretty to me. It's not a pretty music video. Compared to DNA and fake love, like that music video just looks like shit. I'm not gonna lie. To me, it just looks like shit. They could have done better. I expected more from them. Especially since, even if I didn't like a certain BTS song off an album, their title tracks are usually great. But this, this one, this one was just something else. And I just didn't like it. And if BTS somehow sees this, it's not me being mean to you or harsh to you. But I am going to be honest, I didn't like the song. And I'm sorry if I hurt your feelings, but I just can't lie and say that I do. <laughs> I have to be honest with myself. And if I'm not honest, then what's the point of even talking about it? People have different viewpoints. And I feel like having different viewpoints can help people connect or even debate about it. I don't mind if you calmly come into the comment section and say, I disagree with you, but I understand your opinion, okay? I don't mind if you disagree with me. I don't really care. But going on to other people's videos when they don't like a song and they're being honest about it and saying, oh my God, you just don't understand their artistry. Ooh. I don't understand why you have to be so harsh. They're not being harsh, okay? They're expressing their opinion. They don't have to like the song, okay? I'll admit that my favorite part of the whole Idol song isn't even in the music video. It's Nicki's rap. Um, I feel like Nicki did well on the song. Her flow is really nice. Um, I feel like it's because she's done a couple of songs like that before, I believe, and she's done it well her rapping went over that annoying whistle like she was louder than the whistle so I liked it her bars were good the way that she flowed was good I liked her part of the song and if I could cut that part out and listen to it on its own I would that's how much I don't like this song I liked Jimin's high note but that was it and Nikki's rap I know that the boys work hard but I, that doesn't mean that I have to like everything that they make and that's just truth. That's truth. And if you can't handle the truth, well then sorry. But I'm not going to lie about how I feel. Um, I don't understand why people want people to lie. Wouldn't you feel less dirty knowing that someone was telling you their honest opinion and not lying to you? I feel like people lying about it is worse than people stay saying that they think it was awful. Because... At least those people are being honest with you. If they lie to you, how are you supposed to trust their review? How do you know that they're actually supporting the boys? You don't. You know, you don't. Like, you really don't at all. I don't understand why, like, 
people are getting upset when people are saying that they don't like the song. And before you tell me I'm the only one, first of all, I just said K-Junkies didn't like it either. So, they are another person that doesn't like it, those two. And I've talked to a bunch of other friends who are armies as well who didn't like it. But, you know, if you say your honest opinion, you're automatically attacked for some reason. It's like people are like, tell us the truth. But then the moment that you tell them the truth, they're like, no, don't tell us the truth. You're just being a cunt or an asshole. And I'm like, okay, <clears throat> I can't. I'm sorry. Sorry if I said harsh cuss words, but I can't describe it any other way. I, my honest review on Idol is it's a 0 out of 10 for me. I don't like it. It's the worst BTS song I've ever heard in my life, and I'm not going to lie about that. If you like it, you're that's okay. Music is subjective. We have different opinions, and it's kind of nice to see people like it. But I just don't. And this is just coming from a fan that kind of expected more from the sound, especially since Epiphany was on it, which was easily one of the best songs on the album. Um... So, yeah. <laughs> I don't have to like it. I still like BTS. Just this comeback wasn't for me. It wasn't. It wasn't for me. Um, Fake Love more was up my alley. DNA was alright, but it wasn't as much of my thing as their other title tracks. But this one was just a weird way to end it. I didn't... I didn't like it, okay? I really didn't. I was expecting something else. And what... I mean, sometimes you build up expectations with groups if you've been with them for a while. And, you know, I didn't have that much, but I was expecting it to be a little bit more, I guess, I don't know. I was just expecting a different sound. I was expecting something a little bit more oriental, especially from the teasers. I don't know why it felt more oriental to me, but I felt like it was supposed to be. And it just, I didn't like it. Um, so yeah, uh, I'm sorry if you get offended by me. You don't have to watch this video anymore. We're, we're good. You can unsubscribe. <laughs> you can unsubscribe <laughs> and hate me, or you can put a dislike, but that doesn't change how I feel. And you gotta understand that people won't like it, and that's okay. I'm still a fan of BTS, and I still like their work for the most part. Just the song didn't hit me the right way. <laughs> like, at first I liked it a little bit, but the more that I listen to it, if it's a song that gets so annoying that it, ir that it irritates my ears, I'm not going to listen to it. That's just, I don't know. I'm kind of scared to upload this, but at the same time, I'm not. I feel like there should be people who talk about how they honestly feel. I feel like we're lacking that in the K-pop community. I feel like, you know, I'm not one of those fans that's going to like a song just to like a song. I will like a song if I like a song. But if I don't, even if I'm a fan of that group, I'm not going to sit here and say, well, I'm a fan of them still, so I like it. No, no, that's not how this whole thing works. Anyways, um, I hope that you enjoyed Okay, and I'll see you in the next um, video, whenever that may be. Uh, bye!